Welcome to Story 5. In one of our other videos, we talked about three allegedly haunted dolls that exist in real life. And so this week, we wanted to expand on this and talk about three other supposedly haunted objects that exist in real life. So stick around, and we hope you enjoy. First up is the chair of Thomas Busby. It's widely known as the Busby Stoop Chair. This wooden chair is said to be cursed by the spirit of Thomas Busby, a man who had murdered his own father-in-law, Daniel Aldi, in 1702. He bludgeoned him to death with a hammer and hid the body in the woods. He was found guilty of the crime and was sentenced to death. Death in those days came in the form of hanging after his execution, his body was suspended in chains from a gibbet or gallows at the crossroads where an inn was located. The inn later became known as the Busby Stoop Inn, taking its name from the stoop or post on which his remains could be seen. At the inn, the chair that Thomas used to sit in to order his meal and drinks some had said that Thomas had sat in this chair before his death and stated, May sudden death come to anyone who dares sit on my chair. And ever since then, some reports account 63 deaths linked to the people who dared to sit on the chair after this. In 1978, the landlord donated the chair to the Thirst Museum in the UK and it is hung out of harm's way so that no one can sit on it. In fact, the Busby Stoop chair has not been set on since being donated. I will leave a link in the description to the Thirst Museum website to learn more about the chair and the museum. Next, we have the Dybbuk box. In 2001, a man purchased the box at a yard sale and began experiencing paranormal activity in his home. He ended up selling the box on eBay in 2003 under the title Dybbuk Haunted Jewish Wine Cabinet Box. And soon after the sale, the buyer reportedly said, The day it arrived, I put my hands on it and it almost felt like the thing collapses into a liquid state. This is what he told my San Antonio. I feel like a knife is coming into my gut and I'm paralyzed in pain. When I go to bed, I have terrible dreams of a hag that seems to come with the box. It was believed that the box may be haunted by a malicious spirit called a dibbuk. In Jewish mythology, a dibbuk is a malicious possessing spirit believed to be the dislocated soul of a dead person. It supposedly leaves the host's body once it accomplishes its goal sometimes after being exercised. The Dybbuk box was eventually purchased by a paranormal investigator, Zach Baggins, who filmed mist coming out of the box in 2020. And there has been numerous people who said that they've experienced a string of bad luck after coming in contact with the box. The story of this box was the inspiration for the 2012 horror film, The Possession. This particular box, often just called a box, or the Haunted Jewish Wine Cabinet Box, is actually a mini bar produced in New York in the 1950s. Now in 2021, some 20 years later, Kevin Manis, who had originally sold it on eBay, admitted to writer Charles Moss that the box was his own creation. I am a creative writer and the Dybbuk box is a story that I created and the Dybbuk box story has done exactly what I intended it to do when I posted it 20 years ago which is to become an interactive horror story in real time and he also added new elements to the Dybbuk box story over the years to help it evolve keep it relevant and interesting and now on to our last one the last one is the story of the dark mirror. The original owner of the mirror had bought it to 
practice crying. Now, for those of you who may not know, if you've heard of people who gaze into a crystal ball, then you're familiar with the concept of scrying. After a few tries at this, she reported seeing nothing but terrible visions in the mirror and described it as evil. The mirror was then donated to the Traveling Museum of the Paranormal and the Occult. There, it went on display at some events, and it didn't take long for unusual things to start happening. A lady had peered into the mirror and then slammed it back down, and when asked, what did you see? By one of the museum's owners, she stated, I saw my own decomposing corpse looking back at me. That's a dark mirror, and I should not have done that. I need to go say a prayer. Excuse me. And after she said this, this will become what the mirror was known by, the dark mirror. Reports of strange visions, warping faces, a general sense of dread, shadows moving behind you when there's no one there, and someone reported watching another person who looked exactly like himself peer around from behind his reflection and walk away. And there are many more accounts from those who have looked into this mirror. Reports of seeing yourself age, wink, smile, and even disappear. But it's said that the appearance of your own corpse staring back at you is the most common report. I will leave links in the description where you can learn a little bit more about this mirror and read a more detailed article on the history of it and where it can be seen. And so, we have a chair, a box, and a mirror. Were any of these creepy to you? Do you plan on going to see any of them for yourself? And are they really haunted or cursed? We will let you decide. Drop a comment down below and tell us what you think of these. And if you like this type of content, please hit the like button. And if you are brand new here, we would love for you to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.